What's poppin' guys, it's Dynamite, and today I'll show you how I made this Jersey Club Cypher. Now, this is the same project file I used on the first Jersey Club tutorial, but now I just made it into like a Cypher song. And I'ma play it for you guys first. I think that it's time to say goodbye. First thing I did was get the original song from IV Goodbye, had it set to its own mix or track, and then I added a reverse crash. Play you guys what that sounds like. Right here, I chopped up some of the sounds from the original IV song Goodbye. I'll play for you guys. <laughs> I kept it really simple because I just used the original song as more as a background layer. Then I layered it with the, the first word I've said. Ah. And then I have a delay and an EQ. Very simple. Then I got some famous haze I just laid on top of each other. Ah. And then I got the 808, the KBC 808. Oh, it sounds like that because I have the fruity filter on. Let me turn it off. Now I got some highs from Neptune. Now I got this sound, and then I just delayed it, and that's all, keep it real simple. Used the fruity delay one, I made it go eight notes and ping ponged it. And I got my Gibbs, hey, right here. Same thing, just delayed. And then right here, I got the whip right here, and I chopped up the whip a little bit. And I got some up sounds. Same thing, it's just another up right here. And I got this little perk sound right here, and I really chopped that up. And then I got this little sound right here. And I got this stomp kick right here. And then I got a, another old sound. And I got Little John's A. Eh? And then I got some scratches from the Jersey Club Essential drum kit. I have the T Pain's breathing. And I just have it going on. And then under that, I got some snaps. And this, I have a, a hit. And I got this chant. The chant goes like this. They're all together, it sounds like this. I think that it's time to say goodbye Now right here I have like a second build up and what I did was filtered out the 808 and made the automation volume go higher like it was at you know zero right here now I'm gonna play the 808 by itself. <laughs> now 
Now besides the 808i, took like the first verse of IV's goodbye, and I did this to it. So what I did was added a EQ, just gave it that like telephone, and then I added a Valhalla room. And I added another reverb. I didn't really need the Valhalla room. I liked the, the space it gave it, and I used the reverb to like amplify that sound, but just a wee bit. Down here, I got Metro Siren, Ambient Siren. Down here, oh, where, where is it? I just added a Valhalla Ventures reverb, a reverb, and I made it more ambient. I'll play for you guys. Now I'm gonna play with you guys without it on. Now the Valhalla reverb, it brings, it extends the tail a lot more. So that's why I liked it. And it, it tucks it in and it makes it sit well in the mix. Right here, it's the same thing. It's just that hit and um, the stab and the chant. But together it sounds like this. <laughs> Now the only difference I did to the, the second part of this, I transposed the 808. Um, pattern 5, it was at B, and pattern 6, I put it at G. B. I did that to, because it gave it more of a, a punch, and a, it lets the listener know it's, it's a different part. It's not just a regular repeat. And it impacted the song a little bit more because I added the first word from IV, and that was... And like he's saying homicide, but I just chopped it a little bit, so it sounds like he's saying hum, so whatever he's saying. So it's put together, it sounds like this. The best tip I can give you guys is just to really chop each sound. When making it, start with the sounds first and focus on the like the drums later. The chops are what's really important about Cypher Jersey Club. And after you get the chops done, slowly arrange things and it will start to mesh together depending how you arranged it. And that's it for today's video. If you want more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below and subscribe and like this video. See you guys next time.